So we just bought a 500 acre piece of property that's raw and unoccupied. Nothing's been done here for over 30 years. We got a couple of ponds here. We got a road and we have lots of projects to do. So what's gonna be the first project? So the first project we need to build is we gotta build an outhouse so we can have an outhouse up here mm -hmm. to use. Cause there's over 500 acres and you always need a place to go to the bathroom. And I don't like to go outside either. <laughs> The reason we bought this piece of property is because over the last two to three years, we've been looking to either a piece of land or a farm to buy. If you guys are new to the channel, we have a eight acre homestead that we've been building from the ground up over the last five years. And we felt like we're at, we've maximized that piece of property. So we've been looking for something bigger and we were looking at land and farms all over the country. If we were finding farms, they were already normal farms and that doesn't fit our criteria what we were looking for the buildings that were on there were buildings that we wouldn't use for what we wanted so we started looking around for land here and there and we first saw this piece of property and we kind of chuckled and were like that would be awesome if we could have something that big but that would never happen so a little bit of a backstory this, this is over 500 acres it's got two man-made ponds it's got beaver ponds it's got some brooks on it, some streams. It's got a road on it that's over two miles long. That's been graveled at one point and then the grass is growing up in it. And it's just vast majority of so many different things. We have a lot of trees here. We have all different kinds of trees, some that need to get cut and logged. We have some maple here so we can have a sugar bush. Our big vision for this is a farm. Now that's gonna be a five or a 10 year project. That's nothing that's gonna happen overnight. No. But there's a lot of stuff to show you guys here. And I know we're not gonna get it all in this one video. It would be hours to do that. And we haven't even seen everything that this property has to offer. So if there's different things you'd like to see, leave it in the comments down below or things that we didn't answer, leave it in the comments down below because there's a lot of stuff. We're gonna try to squeeze in here as much as we can. We've been to the property now probably 10 times, mm -hmm. give or take, between looking at it and since we've owned it. We've owned it for a couple of weeks now. The weather hasn't been great to bring the camera out and show you guys the property. But every time we come here, we usually see moose scat, deer scat, bear scat, coyote scat. And we're always seeing grouse or partridge, whatever you'd like to call them. So there's a ton of wildlife here. So that's gonna be exciting. We have beavers. When we were at the closing, the owner told us that they've had issues with beavers and we can see some of the issues they've had, but we've also noticed just in the few weeks that we've owned it, we're having beavers plug up our culverts. So we're gonna have to figure out something there because we don't wanna get our road washed out. When we were driving in, we stopped at one of the little running brooks and we were looking at it and we saw little fish. I'll put some of that video footage right here. Right here, I can see this all getting cleaned up, all these little trees being cut back, this brush being cleaned up, and you can just walk down to this brook so easily and just see all of the beauty here. And oh, it's gonna be so nice once we get this property transformed into what we see in our head. It is so nice. It sounds beautiful, just like you, oh. right? You put your can't, you put your bedroom right there. The paper cord it. <laughs> but that's exciting because there's a couple of brooks in here that run year round. There's a really big one, and they're going to be stocked with brook trout and other fish. So this pond right here behind us is spring fed, and we haven't been in it. We haven't taken a boat in it. We don't know how deep it is. We don't know if there's fish in there. I've heard rumors that people have come up here and they've fished out of the ponds and they've caught fish. The other cool thing is we've had a really bad drought here. We just started getting rain. But during the drought, we had come up here. This pond is spring fed from over there. And this pond was still full to where it is right now. This is the highest level it gets because it has an overflow. So even during a drought, we have plenty of water. 
and that's one of the things we were really looking for when we were looking at purchasing property is, is there water on it is there springs on it brooks ponds so that way when we have livestock here we have places for the animals to drink out of I'm really loving kayaking and fishing and I like to uh, maybe get into hunting a little bit and this property just fit everything yeah, we have we've been wanting to get the kayak up here but we've been waiting to do that on camera so now that we've shown you guys the property we'll have to get in the kayak up here olivia's excited to do some fishing we're going to be doing some hunting especially for grouse and we can start doing that now it is hunting season here but our one of our goals is is to get some pasture land here to get some silvo pasture which is forest with grass pasture in there and we can have our livestock up here and have a whole lot of different things so one of our huge visions for this property would be able to have this into a big working farm to have tons of animals here to be able to sell the meats, sell the produce from the farm, but also be able to have an area where you can do workshops, whether it's butchering, whether it's soap making, whether it's growing vegetables or whatnot. But that's that would take a long time before we ever got there because it's just raw land right it's, now. Yeah, it's down the road. <laughs> it's down the road, but that's one of our big visions. We have so many ideas going through here. I mean, we have eight acres of where we homestead right now, and we've done a lot on that eight acres. So this property isn't quite a hundred times as big as that one, but if you could just imagine what we could do here on a bigger scale, that's kind of like mind blowing. Think of the greenhouses. We could have the barns, the goats. So the vision is, is to have goats, sheep, pigs, cows here. The pigs would love the forest and they would help us turn this forest into silvo pasture really quick and really easy. So we could have, we could get some of the smaller trees trimmed down. We could put some electric fence up on string and we could get pigs in here. They would till it and we'd have to move them once a week or a couple of times a week. And then we could go back behind them and seed it and we could get some really nice pasture growing in our forest. A little bit of the history of this property that we know is that this property was logged over 30 years ago and then when they logged it they put in a huge main access road which is still here they put these two ponds in there's this one we'll show you the one further up and then ever since then the only thing that's been done to this property is the road has been maintained being mowed and stuff like that there's a lot of, a lot of trails here that have not been maintained some of them have small trees in them some of them have bigger trees so there is miles and miles, I would dare say tens if not hundreds of miles of trails on this property that we can clear and use them for just going out and going four wheeling, going hiking, for animal trails, just for access to check out the property, to get us to different areas, to check out the beaver ponds that we have, the brooks that we that is here. So that's gonna be exciting just to be able to open up the trails and start seeing more of the property. Yeah, let's have some fun, like put a kayak in the water, go fishing, yep. go on trails, have some fun here too. So we're really excited about that. Actually fell in love with this property even before seeing this beautiful rock in this pond. It's like right when we walked in, like I just, I felt peace. I think you felt like the total yep. peace of the property. Like, And we've been on, we looked at other properties uh, every now and then and just didn't feel that. Right, this one piece of property when we came here was just kind of like, oh. And this... we hadn't even really seen anything. Like, right. And we still, I still haven't seen everything. Yeah. Every time we come here, we just feel like we're at peace and it's just, there is noise in the background right now, but normally it is quiet here. You can't hear any cars. You can hear somebody logging right now, but other than that, I'm gonna bug on my glasses. <sighs> hey, <sighs> thank you. Other than that, you normally don't hear anything here. Like where our, our other property where we live right now, there's just road noise constantly. So it's nice to be able to have a place to be like, oh, what's that? So let's go for a walk. We'll drive up, we'll check out the other pond, and we'll take you up and we'll show you where the sugar bush is, where all of, we found a lot of maple trees. We haven't explored a lot, but every time we do go out, we find something else. It's like, oh, that's awesome. I haven't even seen the sugar bush. What you find? Um, a track of something. Uh, of some machine. 
Oh yeah, look at that. An old dozer track is in there. Let's go see if we can walk in there. Yeah, there's a track off of some bulldozer or something back in the day. That's pretty cool. Bet you it weighs a little bit, Olivia. Yeah, try to get it. So up here on the left, you can tell that it used to be an old area that was cleared for when they logged. It's where they, it was a landing where they brought all the wood and skidded it down to. And then up over here, you really can't see it, but there is a trail. And through this trail is where we found all the maple trees. It's like the enchanted forest. You gotta walk through this little tight patch and it opens up. So wild how it's so thick right here and then it opens up uh -huh. to this nice hardwood forest. And this is where we found a lot of maples is up this way. Looks like with that last snowstorm we had brought that tree down to your left. That's a fresh break. Wow, look how thick that is. That's awesome. It's like a carpet. I know, I and it's that. so bright green. I'm touching with your hand. You can use that for toilet paper in your outhouse. I'm not using that for toilet paper. <laughs> <laughs> Survival TP. I like to leave it just like that, okay? These are small skid trails. You got a set that goes to the left and the ones that go to the right. When we walked up here to the right, we were finding a lot of maple in the center clump. So in this area right here, we got maple, maple, maple. We have a bunch of maples over here. We got ash and some birch scattered throughout. But we could get in here and open it up and make a really nice sugar bush. And a sugar bush is a place where we tap all the maple trees so you can make maple syrup. And we got some elevation here so we could tap them with lines and we could have a gravity fed down here somewhere to a sugar shack or we can have buckets out and come out and collect them. Right here we're really starting to get into some nice maple here and then a lot up here and then more over here. Up at the top of this trail we'll get up there in a second and I'll show you what's at the top up here. So when we get up here we have an area that the beavers once flooded out. So we could come in here, clean it up. And the idea is, is to turn it into pasture because all of the stumps that would be out here would be rotted from the beavers flooding it. So it'd be pretty easy to turn that back into pasture. That's one idea, but we gotta get out there more to explore it. There's just so many areas to explore here to figure out what to do with all the land and how to turn it back into a working farm. The area that we're in back in the late 1800s, early 1900s was all farmland. These trees that you see here have been growing for the last 30 to 100 years. But before that, there was no trees here. It was cleared out and it was all farmland. So it's crazy to think that this right here where we're standing used to be pasture. Crazy. I don't know how good it's showing up on camera, but look at all them maples. Find some more forest carpet. Yeah, under this one. I don't even think there's anything under it. Can I pick it up and put it in your room? Here's another nice spot that's all clear, easy, and we can turn that back into pasture with not much work at all.
here's the second pond. We'll have to get the drone up and see what it looks like from above because it's gonna be hard to show it on regular camera with it being grown in as it is. I don't know what feeds this pond. This one was full during the drought too. So I'm assuming it's spring fed, but this pond is pretty dirty. It's not clear like the other water. The other water you can see right to the bottom. Now this is the first time we're seeing the piece of property and the ponds from the drone. We've waited to take the drone out because we wanted to see it all for the first time and share it with you guys. We wanted it to be new for all of us. I'm just seeing back there, it looks like a brook that we're zooming in on. I don't know if that's the brook or the overflow from the pond, but I can't wait to get out and explore that kind of stuff. If you haven't seen it, there's just, it's like a vast amount of property here. There's so much to see. So yeah, it looks like it's the runoff. I don't know if it's the brook too. I mean, we got to get back there someday and research, search it a little bit more. It almost looks like there's a moose in the standing in the brook back there. If it might just be a tree, but man, I can't wait to get out there and search it more. We got a lot of fir, some pines out here, and there's some hardwood. It looks like some beech and some ash, and probably a lot of aspen. Okay, so we're seeing the brook. It's going up. Um, you can still follow it a little bit so it goes up back here you can see that is another brook the beavers once had that flooded out so that must be yeah I don't know we got to get out there and explore it more to see exactly how it feeds everything up above us here we have a lot more land there's a brook that the beavers had dammed off at one point so there are some beaver dams I'll put the drone up and I'll show you that area and then there is a lot of old logging trails up in this area that we need to clean up so we can start exploring the upper part of the property and see what's up here. I'm so excited to start doing more and more of that and just to see what's in store for us. Right here we got some coyote scat. Looks like a nice big game trail right here. Someday we'll be catching some brook trout out of this little brook. Yeah. Come from this side. Make some nice dinner, huh? Yeah. What's that? What's what? That thing right there. Oh, it's a fence. Of some sort of cage they must have put around it so maybe the beavers didn't plug it. Because that's a culvert that runs under the road right here. Uh -huh. I bet you the beavers plugged it up one time. So they built a grate around it. Can you see it better from in there? You can see it. Yeah. A gate? Uh, yeah. Like a box? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I bet you the beavers had that culvert plugged one time. This is another area we're thinking about putting a house or clearing for more buildings or pasture. But I'm assuming the video is getting long right now, so we'll have to come back and explore that in another video. But up here on the left is a really cool spot we'll have to show you guys. And then down right up here past these silver trees, there's a really cool area that we could clear and make into pasture really easily. Actually, no, it's right there. There's a place that I call home Where the oak trees grow Where the moonlight glows But I wish that I was somewhere else where the sound of city lights keeps me company at night. So this right here could be a future project for Lumna Acres. We could restore this old tanker truck. <laughs> That's a big project. It would be a big project. This door has been open for so long, a tree grew up, so you couldn't even shut the door if you wanted to. That's funny. What's in there? Anything good? What's that? Anything good in there? No, a rotted floor, a missing motor. Mice? Nothing good. Some mice? Uh, I don't see any mice. I see some bullet shots on the gray glass. But it stopped it, so it's bulletproof. It's cool looking though. It is cool looking. Oops. I'm assuming that this was used as an old fuel tank to fill up the old skitters. 
pretty cool. Hydraulic hoses. Huh. I don't think it's worth restoring. No. They took the drive shaft out, the rear gears. So it's just a shell? Yeah. The rear end's missing. You got the house in, but you don't have the gears, no drive shaft going to the front. The front pumpkin's there, but there's no motor in there or anything. It's missing. I wonder why they took everything out. So it was four wheel drive. Looks like a homemade tanker truck. Can't even shut the door. We got a tree growing up in the way. And the floor's all rotted out. That'd take a little bit of work to get that back up and running. Maybe that could be your first car, Olivia. No? no. There's probably a lot of people saying, but Al, you guys just built all these buildings on your homestead, and now you're talking about this property? We've had all of our builds this year planned before we stumbled upon this piece of property. The, even the barn kit that we're building right now that we just finished, we had already had that bought, ordered, and the site work was done, and we stumbled upon this, and it, everything had just fallen into place. It was meant to be, so we couldn't pass it up, and especially with everything going on in the world right now, land, especially land and houses are just selling so fast. This is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity we felt. We felt like we'd never find a piece of property like this again, especially for the price we found it for, mm -hmm. so it was like, we either jumped on it now or we were never going to be able to do it again. There was a lot of signs pointing us that this was the right decision to make. So we're excited to have the property and we can't wait to see what we have in store here for us. And we're excited to bring you guys along in everything we do. This is going to be a huge project. This is a lifetime project. Yeah, it's not something that's just going to happen overnight. No, we will never run out of things to do now. There's plenty of stuff to do here. <laughs> and plenty of land to do it on. Let's go down and we'll go down to the next brook and we'll show you the big brook on the property. This right here is the big brook. This should be a good fishing hole. We should have a lot of brook trout in here. So we have two culverts right here that run under the road so the brook can continue. And every time we've come here since we've closed on the property, one of them is always plugged up by the beavers. I'll come in here, I'll clean out all of the brush and debris and then we come back and it's plugged up again. We just unplugged this one a few days ago and it is full of brush again. So I'm gonna get down here and pull out what I can get out. I didn't bring any, I didn't bring a rake with me this time, so we'll see what we can do by hand. We don't want the beavers flooding this out and going over the road. And you can see on that big rock over there, you can see where the high water mark was or is. Pretty deep right there. All right. Beavers have been busy. Sounds so magical, but this right here is the first beaver dam. I was able to spot it on the drone. I didn't know if it was a beaver dam at first. If you come over here and look, you can see that the branch has been chewed down by a beaver. So you can see the branches right there, the ends of them have all been chewed down by beavers. Yeah. That right there, they chewed the bark off that one. No skin. And then if we walk further up, I saw another beaver dam on the drone. 
It's like right there. I don't know if you can see it, but up there, that's a little bit of a bigger beaver dam. We gotta get there. Uh, there's the trees they've been cutting down to build it. You can see right here a bunch of sand that something has. Must be where the beavers come in there, slide. They come in here, dig it out, and then bring everything up to their dam. Oh yeah, you can see it's all been chewed down here. And this is their dam. Let's get over there. Yeah, you can see another one of their runs. See the water overflowing the bank. So we're gonna have to do something with this dam. I hope to get the beaver too so they don't keep doing it, but they're flooding it out over here more and more. We gotta find their home, I think. The brook's not at a bad height right now, but any higher and we're gonna start flooding all this out. And that's the road. We don't want to flood out the road. It's gonna have to be one of our first missions is to get the dam out of here and do something with the beaver because if he floods this, this will go over to the road and flood the road out. And we can't have that. No, that would not be good one bit. We gotta be good stewards of the land and letting the beaver flood the road out is not good stewards. Yeah, look at the big old trees that the beavers took down there and I mean, there. I think these are old, but because they're yeah. gray. These are older. But look at that big tree that they chewed down. It's crazy. I couldn't imagine being able to do that with my teeth. Hope you guys enjoyed coming along with us on the property tour today. We just barely touched the surface. There's so much over there to show you. I can't wait to get back over there with the camera and bring you guys along for some more. Leave it in the comments down below. Let me know what you want to see, what you have questions about, and man, there's going to be a lot of new adventures here at Lumina Acres. Now we have a lot of land to explore and check out. I want to thank you if you made it this far in the video. I know you guys are true modern steaders and you watch most of the videos to the end. So thank you. We really want to hear your feedback on the video. Leave it down below. We couldn't do this without you and the man upstairs. We, none of this would be happening right now. So we want to thank you for coming along on our homesteading journey. You guys are a huge blessing to us in our homestead. And we'll see you right back here in the next video at Lumna Acres. Oh, and we need to figure out a name for this property. You can leave it in the comments down below. What should we call it? I was thinking like Our Last Frontier, but that's kind of too much of like the TV show, Alaska The Last Frontier. But man, it's just a huge, vast piece of property that I don't think we'll ever find anything like it again. So leave it in the comments down below. Give us your recommendations and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.